there was news today that Akira Toriyama um, had passed away. Um, and I didn't feel it would be right to stream without acknowledging him as Dragon Ball did have an impact on my life. Um, but I think a lot, I think a lot of people won't realize the impact he's actually had. He's had the, I don't think a lot of people are going to realize the actual impact that he has had in the industry of cartoons, anime, even pop culture. Um, unless you really are into all the pop culture, like we kind of are. Um, so yeah, I didn't feel right. I didn't, I didn't really feel right without, uh, I wanted to like, just talk about Dragon Ball and my experiences with it. Cause it is an amazing franchise. Um, and I, I know it gets a lot of backlash for like, for what it was. It was weird because yesterday I actually mentioned on stream and I was talking to odd one X about potentially doing some Dragon Ball card game um, with a few people. And honestly, it was a bit weird that we were talking about Dragon Ball yesterday. And then this news comes up, which is a bit unfortunate. So for those who don't know, who are sitting in chat right now, who are lurking, Akira Toriyama created Dragon Ball Z. Or Dragon, it created Dragon Ball. But that also extends to like Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball, the, the actual Dragon Ball shit series, uh, Dragon Ball GT. It's his franchise. I don't think he had any con creative control over it, but he, he, he spawned Dragon Ball and it's obviously impacted a lot of people throughout, um, throughout the world. And I think he'll always be uh, remembered as the guy who made Dragon Ball. If it wasn't for Akira Toriyama, a lot of the manga that we get today, Naruto, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh would definitely be in that category. My Hero Academia would be in there. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. If you name an anime, there is probably some form of inspiration from Dragon Ball. And you just, you just know how much of an impact he has had as soon as you see how much he's like, what he's done. I found out about Dragon Ball from a cousin of mine. Dragon Ball game I ever played was um, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. And it was one of the most fun games that I've ever played. Now, my first exposure to Dragon Ball, believe it or not, was GT. And I hated it. I think I, think I kind of grew a warm spot for it when I started like getting into Dragon Ball. But that was my first exposure to it. I felt like it was just lots of screaming. But then I played Dragon Ball Budokai 2 and it was really good. Uh, it was really, really, really good. Um, and obviously I, I picked up Dragon Ball Budokai 2 for myself, played it, played the hell out of it. And I picked up Dragon Ball Budokai 1 and then I picked up Budokai 3, which one of the best games ever is Budokai 3. And then we're also, um, and then also, yeah, it's just kind of grown through there. And then obviously I actually, believe it or not, I played Xenoverse 2 a fair bit. Um, I haven't played it nowadays, like recently, but... Like, when it was, like, popular, I did play it a fair bit. And I still feel like it is popular to this day. But I feel like it's much more popular than people... Like, I played it during this popular... And I used to mod to play Xenoverse 2 because I modded the hell out of it. Because I wanted my creative character to go Super Saiyan 4. So I, I, played, I played Xenoverse. And then I think the most recent Dragon Ball game I've played... I know I wanted to play... Um, I wanted to play um, Kakarot on stream. Kakarot seems really fun. And apparently it's like fully done now. And then after I actually played the games, I actually never saw the anime until I found out it was airing on Cartoon Network six o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I I used to be woken up by my mom every, every day for school, Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to watch Dragon Ball first and then Dragon Ball Z. Um, and then I watched from, I think for Dragon Ball, I started watching from the, um, I started watching from, I think just, a, I think just as Goku, uh, met my, uh, went on Master Roshi's Island. I've, I didn't, I didn't watch that first bit until probably when I was a lot older. Um, and then for, 
For Dragon Ball Z, I started from the Saiyan saga. I watched through to the Saiyan saga to the Boo saga. Um, I actually think I watched the Boo saga um, before that. Um, but I think I only had like limited exposure to it. And I watched it out of order a little bit. I've never actually read the manga of Dragon Ball. I would love to. Um, however, it is a bit hard to come by nowadays. Although, I might actually build, like, get a book, uh, the book series of it now. So, and then obviously we got Sparking Zero coming out later this year. I'm really excited to play that. I will be playing that on stream. Um, and then I might even play the card game on stream. I'd like to give the card game a bit of a shot. And actually, it is one of my pieces that I want to look for in, I want to look at for, um... Dragon Ball, uh, the Dragon Ball card game is one of the pieces I want to look at for researching my actual card game. I definitely want to do something Dragon Ball soon. I won't be able to this weekend. Otherwise, if I was available this weekend, we'd be doing something Dragon Ball related. Um, but I will, um, I'll plan something maybe for next weekend and maybe we do something Dragon Ball then. Oh no, hang on. Um, but yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. Um, other than that, rest in peace, Kira Toriyama. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your contributions to this amazing world. And thank you for your amazing contribution of Dragon Ball. As the stream went on, I actually started to realize how much of an actual impact that Akira Toriyama had to not only the anime industry, but also the pop culture environment. For example, he also created a game known as Dragon Quest, which I believe there is some elements that have been taken from that game and that inspired um, Pokemon. But not only that, there were also some other cartoons like Avatar The Last Airbender and even the show that I love the most, Yu-Gi-Oh! was all inspired from Dragon Ball. So this man has had a big impact on our lives in terms of nerd culture. So one last time, thank you so much Akira Toriyama for spawn for not only creating Dragon Ball and your amazing franchise, but also inspiring a lot of people to create their own dream and their own story via manga, pop culture, and every single platform that they do. Thank you.